Hello everybody. Today is Saturday, March the 15th, 2014. My name is Michael Wright and this is the Weekend LEOA video. Just before continuing forward, please do pause the recording and read over the risk disclaimer. All right, let's jump into um, the markets and take a, a close look at a um, couple open trades. Well, there's one open trade on our end, um, and that is the long pound kiwi. So let's first look at that. Let also look at other kiwi crosses, and then um, from there, uh, I'll go forward and see um, some other setups. So we also just for notice also closed out pound dollar um, during the week, um, closed out one quarter for a plus 91 pips, and then ended up closing out the other three quarters for plus 113, giving us an average of 111 pips. Um, but right now the trade to keep focus on is uh, pound kiwi. We are um, along this pair, ideally looking for kiwi losses. Um, so a risk of um, environment um, as it has held not only the 100% Fibonacci extension but also the range of the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement. Alright so let's jump into that. Um, currently uh, we are along just around 194.60 so we're up about um, 35 pips and we're looking for levels um, much higher than this. Um, to keep notice, we also do have momentum, uh, bullish momentum um, divergence, so calling for um, longs on the uh, pound kiwi. Meanwhile, if you look at the daily time frame, we actually did go ahead and attempt a short kiwi. This is the kiwi dollar. Uh, we did attempt a short kiwi dollar um, late in the week, but we got stopped out at break even. Okay, and uh, as you can see here, the pair is under some um, pressure as we have held the uh, daily um, trend line that has been intact since the 88.41 highs um, dating back to uh, August of 2011. So with that being said, indeed we are looking for shorts. We also, you can also see the bearish divergence here. Um, though new highs have been made, uh, momentum has failed to follow suit and take away those um, new highs. Uh, meanwhile, just going back actually to the daily time frame and looking at the uh, pound kiwi, what we also have here, and what we're also looking for is the 4 hour indeed is showing that bullish um, momentum, but we are looking for a back test, okay? We are looking for a back test that will ideally get us somewhere near around 199 that's so that's our targets but at the same time that will just that will be the range um, close enough to the daily resistance so as soon as we ideally break higher and retest those um, and retest the trend line support now turned resistance then um, we will look to flip on that pair and then uh, look for shorts all right, and then um, look for shorts, looking for uh, a move uh, much lower. Okay, let's take away this end here, and ideally it should be a one two on A B. More likely a one two. Then looking for a minor one two, then get a three four five three four. This much deeper. Okay, so that's ideal. What we're looking for a pound kiwi again. We're long right now, looking to get to break even sooner than later but ideally looking to flip and short at higher levels. Meanwhile, um, looking at the Euro Kiwi from the daily time frame, so Pound Kiwi is about 500 pips higher. So ideally 500 pips higher um, lands also the Euro Kiwi around the same levels in terms of um, support turned resistance. But however, um, this setup, in my opinion, is just a lot more choppy than a pound kiwi, so I'll just stick with that. Um, minus that, another interesting uh, kiwi cross setup is the Aussie kiwi. The Aussie kiwi um, 
is holding the 161.8% Fibonacci extension. Um, somewhere near the open, uh, we'll be looking for longs. First, looking for 107.50, and then um, a breakout exposing higher levels. Um, we'll see how things develop across the board with the Kiwi, but the Aussie Kiwi is one that has been in a downswing for quite some time um, and in my opinion is uh, largely due um, for a correction so again with the 161 holding and just our bullish um, viewpoint we'll like to get along this pair and even look for uh, a larger um, push higher into the 120 zone that may take a couple weeks, so we'll see how um, the Aussie Kiwi does develop. Minus that, since we're looking for Kiwi losses, ideally you look for Aussie losses. Um, Aussie, I'll just stay pat for now, and then I will look. Um, then I will look for, and then I will look for shorts on a uh, break below 0 0.90. Okay, um, so again, that's a possible fifth wave. Um, high and then a 1, 2 or an AB with a breakout below 90 exposing uh, further decline. So AB, so looking for the C wave if we do break below this trend line um, support and that C wave ideally comes around 89 so about 200 pips lower. Um, Euro Aussie, other hand you'll look for longs here. A uh, bit choppy but nonetheless, if we actually modify this trend line, a uh, nice retest, and kind of the same thing that we're seeing with the other crosses. Basically, looking for uh, another move higher, A, B, 1, 2, another minor A, B, looking for a C wave. But bigger ideal is that 78.6% Fibonacci retracement that lies about 156. That gives us about uh, 300 pips higher. So 300 pips higher here, looking for 500 pips on pound kiwi, um, meaning euro pound ideally may be due for correction. Um, so be careful and watch for a pullback. We did get out of euro pound maybe a little bit too early, but only gave back a, um, only threw away a couple pips. Um, I don't mind that one bit. Um, but let's look at some yen crosses really quick because. Um, an interesting setup will be the euro yen. Euro yen, um, in my opinion, clear uh, four hour support. So a break below there will um, see some downside risk for uh, the euro yen. And then, meanwhile, if pound yen actually gets some um, moves higher, um, then I will look for a short around 171. Um, looking for the pair to continue is downside moves. All right, so we'll see how that plays out. Um, if the yen wants to continue um, to break up, all right, that's the yen futures. And actually, let's look at yen futures. Um, for those um, interested in the code for yen futures, that is backslash um, 6J about, okay? Um, It could continue to break higher. Um, so just keep a close eye on what the actual um, euro yen does. If euro yen <coughs> um, shoots to the downside, I will be um, attempting that short. Um, nice hold of that top edge uh, Fibonacci retracement at the high. You guys can see a nice rejection over there. At that time, I wasn't looking at the euro yen, or else I definitely would have taken that short. Um, because um, that's just a, a key fib and then also close enough to the 100% but f but if it is going to hold this support I do not rule out 144 before a reversal and if this happens then I will get short around 144 looking for a larger move um, lower alright guys I want to thank you all for watching the daily LA way, the weekend LA way video um, feel free to Skype me at wtcg.mike or um, I'll talk to you all in the chat room. Cheers and good luck trading.